Alright y'all, so, uh, this video here is actually very sad, okay, um, not like, you know, 20 people got shot or anything like that, but, it's just sad and what this world is coming to, okay, uh, like, there's no other way to describe it, it's just sad. San Diego school teachers offer white privilege training where participants commit to being anti-racist. San Diego Unified School District is offering professional development for teachers who undergo white privilege training in which they must accept their supposed unconscious bias and perpetuating ritual, racial superstructures. The training documents are obtained by independent journalist Christopher F. Rubio. So training sessions with instructors notifying faculty members they will experience guilty, anger, empathy, and closed-mindedness. Okay. Now, number one. Um, if I was a teacher, okay, I wouldn't respond to this. I wouldn't even go. Number two, if I was forced to go, I would probably, um, just find a different job. I would go to a different school district or something. But number three, all right, let's just say if I went, okay, um, I would not feel guilty for anything, okay? Just because I'm white doesn't mean, okay, that I'm the worst person ever alive, okay? Now again, if you're you're if you're a black person, okay. You know you want to be proud that you're black. That's fine, okay. All right, um, don't hate me for being white, okay. Like I said, if you want to be black, that is completely like if you want to celebrate it, go for it. If you want to have a party for it, go for it. That's fine. That's great, okay. You do you, but don't sit here and hate me because I'm white, okay. I did nothing to you, all right, for you to hate me, all right. That's just like police officers. They're about Black Lives Matter and these people. Oh, they're all racist. Okay, number one, for the Black Lives Matter people out there, there are black police officers, okay? There are people out there who actually are not out in the streets causing problems and destroying your city. There are people out there who actually just want to make a decent living and go on about their lives and enjoy their lives. But people like you are right here destroying the city, making everybody's life and job difficult for you, for um, them. So, um, I can tell you right now, I'm not going to experience anything, alright? Now, the teachers undergoing the training must acknowledge that they are living on land, the United States, that was stolen from Native Americans. They are also uh, required to watch clips of Rubia, Robin D'Angelo, author of the book White Fragility, and Ibram X. Kennedy, author of the book How to Be Anti-Racist. I, um, I don't need to write a book on how to be anti-racist. I can tell you right now how to be anti-racist, all right? White people, show respect. Black people, show respect. Hispanic people, show respect, okay? No matter who you are, all right, um, you know, you just show respect to everybody and you, and you get their respect back for the most part, okay? That's how you are anti-racist, all right? You show respect to them. And they show respect back to you. That's as simple as that, okay? I don't need a book or, you know, 10 paragraphs to tell you this. It's simple, all right? You show respect to me, I get respect back. Uh, I mean, it's pretty much that simple, all right? Because if you get respect, then nobody's going to talk about um, your race or anything like that. Now, after that, the teachers are told they are racist and upholding racist ideas, structures, and policies and must commit to becoming anti-racist in the classroom. Now, I'm just going to read that part again in case y'all didn't hear it. After that, the teachers are told they are racist and upholding racist ideas, structures, and policies and must commit to being anti-racist in the classroom. The trainers reportedly say that white people in America hold most of the power and white teachers are preserved at every level of power. Now, there's a reason why I reread the part I did twice, okay? I reread and read this part, okay? Now, again, after that, teachers are told they are racist and upholding racist ideas, structures, and policy must be coming, meant to be anti racist in the classroom, alright? The trainers reportedly say that white people in America hold most of the power and white teachers are preserved at every power, every level of power. So, 
Um, obviously, you know, there's no black people responding to this um, because white privilege training. So obviously, there's no black teachers there. There's no Hispanic teachers. It's just white teachers. So people all the time want to talk about white privilege. Someone explain to me what that is. Because last time I checked, I haven't got it. I don't know anybody who has got it. And for the people saying, oh, it's because you don't get stopped by the police or you don't get shot by the police. Okay. Number one, I don't get shot by the police because I don't break the law. Number two, I don't get shot by the police because I don't run up there with a knife or gun or threaten to kill them. That's probably why. All right. Uh, if y'all remember about a month ago, a white woman was killed in Florida for charging the police officers with a knife. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure she didn't have white privilege, or if she did, you know, she would have, uh, she wouldn't have been shot if she did. Now, in the training, teachers vow to confront and examine their white privilege, acknowledge when they feel white fragility, and teach others to see their privilege, according to documents. Okay, uh, let's just keep going because it's getting more and more stupid. Furthermore, teachers are challenged to confront and examine their white privilege and teach others to see the privilege. The session, which takes its content from the Racial Healing Handbook, was offered in response to nationwide protests sparked by the police custody of George Floyd in Minneapolis. Again, George Floyd, okay, um, number one. I'm going to keep saying this. Every time I hear something about George Floyd, I'm going to keep saying this, and maybe people will finally get it. All right. George Floyd, Minneapolis teaches neck on knee movement. This man was a career criminal, okay? Um, number one, he held a pregnant woman at gunpoint. All right, number two, um, he has a history of violence, all right? Number three, he was trying to pass counterfeit bills. Number four, he was high on drugs. Number five, the drugs are probably what, what killed him. He crashed on drugs, all right? So this man can sit in this tiny little car that he was driving. Police officers pull him out. They try to put him in the back of a cop car. Oh no, he can't sit in there. He's claustrophobic. Okay. Anyways, moving on from that. This person says we are a majority minority district, with the majority of white teacher workforce. Murray McGree, the school district spokesperson, told Fox News in an email, the ability to hold honest conversations about race. Where grace is important, which is why we offer the training and why so many teachers are elected to enroll. Our students benefit from being able to talk about race and other difficult issues regardless of their background. Most of all, we believe every open and sincere conversation about race, no matter how it begins, provides an opportunity to learn from one another from hearts to open and minds to grow. Okay, so with that being said, if a white student went up there and said, he got assaulted by another race, white, uh, black or Hispanic, okay, would you believe that? Or, at the same time, if a black person said a white person assaulted him, who are you going to believe first? That's my question, because I don't see anything about black people going to this, um, Hispanic people, and it's just white people, okay? And I haven't seen no white privilege on anybody who's got white privilege, okay? That's all I'm saying, alright? But it's a problem when we say something, okay? The people out there who are actually out there working and trying to get their lives together and do what's right, okay? No matter if you're white or black, okay? It don't matter. It's a problem when we say something, okay? If you're white or black, or you're racist, uh, you have white privilege, okay? If you're black, call Uncle Tom, uh you know, a coon, or you're with the white people. Okay, it's fun when we say something, but it's okay for y'all to go out there and ride in the streets, burn down everything. All right. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's just crazy out there. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. As always, thank y'all for watching, and as always, y'all stay safe out there.